This is a video I recorded a while ago, and then it, it, it didn't. I didn't like the take I kind of recorded of this video. Uh, but I thought it was a video I wanted to do. I might do this every week, um, depending on what happens, because you know, with this whole pandemic going on in the world, you never know if like these theaters are gonna be able to stay open for a week, two weeks, a month. Um, I'm hoping a week. Uh, I should say though. I, I had a, uh, my guinea pig died today. Um, I'm not going to go into the details of it. You just don't need to know. But I'm just letting you know if I sound kind of bummed or I'm not on the channel for the next couple of days. That's just why it's kind of like sad. It's not a super sad thing. You know, it's not, I, I, you know, for, but like when you have like pets, they become like a member of your family sometimes. And it just like, it's, it gets sad. You know, you don't want to deal with it. You know, I, you know, but, um. You know, I probably will go look for another guinea pig in a couple of days or so, but I, I think I'm just going to, you know, be less on the channel lately. Also, Hamilton is releasing on Disney Plus uh, J July 3rd, which is this Friday. Um, I'm planning on checking that out. Um, so expect a review for that probably Friday. And I also just started watching Lucifer. Uh, Jeremy Johns actually uploaded a review of the movie or the series today. And I actually didn't know it was still running. Like, I thought Lucifer ended, actually. I had no idea about any of the details with this show. So I, I thought I'd check it out, finally. Because a lot of people have recommended to me. And they've said it's a really good show. I, I, I haven't really got past the first episode, so I won't be saying too much about that. But when I finish season one, I'll do a review for season one. And ever see every single season after that. Um... So yeah, uh, let's, we're, okay. So uh, the basic movies that uh, are coming out. First up, you got your Dollar Kids movie, The Iron Giant. Uh, last time it was Space Jam. I've seen The Iron Giant. I've seen it on the big screen. Probably won't go out to see this one, uh, but it's a great movie. Uh, I like that they're doing older movies instead of like showing something like The Lorax or something. You know, like some random kids movie that like, it, like they're bad and you just shouldn't show them. But like, also it's just like, you're not introducing ki kids to something that's, you know, older and they may not have seen before. You're just showing them, you know, cause I saw Space Jam and the kids there uh, with their parents and you could hear them go, you know, I've seen, you've seen Space Jam, right? And the daughter's like, no, I haven't. It's just, so it's like a cool experience cause the dad's seen it. And he gets to show his kids, you know, so it's kind of like, it's a nice, what that's a nice thing that you want to continue at theaters is to make experiences like that because theater, you, you know, you want to always make the theater an experience. So having that is pretty nice. Uh, they're showing two towers again, uh, or not again, they're showing two towers. I saw Fellowship, so I'm definitely going to see two towers. Um, they're showing Raiders of the Last Ark. Uh, fun story. Never seen any of the Lord of the Rings movies. Or not Lord of the Rings. I've seen the Lord of the Rings. I did review for those. Um, Indiana Jones. Uh, the reason why is just simple fact of this. My dad's only owned them on DVD. And I wanted to pick them up on Blu-ray. Um, but I just haven't. Because they've been talking about a 4K set for a, a really long time. And so I'm just waiting for that. Of course, we're still waiting for... True Lies and the Abyss from James Cameron. So, which by the way, have never been released on Blu-ray in the U.S. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there, but it hasn't happened. And I'm sorry my face is all red. Jeez Louise, I apparently got really sunburned today, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm, so I'll probably see Raiders of Lost Ark. In theaters, because that'd be a nice way to f see them for the first time. The Matrix is really re releasing too. Never seen the Matrix. Here's the thing: the Matrix is cool and all, um, from what I hear. But like, I don't know. I, it's such a talked about movie, number one, and that always makes me hesitant to watch certain things. Uh, but I also want to watch them at home first, as like a trilogy, to know whether I really like it. Then watch it in the theater would be cool after that. Um, so I've never seen The Matrix. I want to do that one day. Just not right now. Um, 
Knives Out. Knives Out is re-showing. I definitely won't be seeing this one, but it's like kind of weird that they're showing this one considering you could just watch it at home on Amazon Prime. Same thing with like Wonder Woman and Aquaman. I don't think those are on Amazon Prime, but I'm sure they're like on HBO Max or DC Universe. You know, you can watch those at home for a pretty reasonable price. In fact, I think DC Universe is actually cheaper than the ticket price, which is five bucks, right? At my local theater, the movie girl. Uh, they're also re-showing, uh, uh, what else are they re-showing? There's, oh, Grease and Footloose. Um, never seen Grease, never seen, well, no, I've seen Footloose. Um, but I, you know, I'm, but I'm gonna watch those. They're also showing Fairless Bueller's Day Off, which would be awesome. So I'm gonna, I wanna definitely see all three of those. How I'm probably gonna do it is, uh, my grandpa wants to go see Indiana Jones on Friday. And I'll probably go with him to do that. Um, and then I will go the next day, go see Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And as soon as that, the, and then right after that movie, I'll go see The Two Towers. Um, and then like, you know, because it's, it's cool that like it's so cheap that I can like double book it, do like a double feature thing, you know. And uh, there's no school, so I don't have to worry about being out late, times like that. But it's nice that they're actually showing Two Towers earlier than they were showing Fellowship, because Fellowship was like showing at nine o'clock, didn't let out, or not nine o'clock, six o'clock, didn't let out to like almost 10 o'clock. It was like 9.50 when that movie ended. Of course, if I wanted to sit through the credits, it would have been even longer. So, you know, it, it, it was a pretty long night and just like already, I just didn't want to deal with that. And so like, you know, moving the show times up. I've noticed they've done that since the first night because I guess, people were complaining about it um from what i understand and that you know i get i get why people were complaining about it. it is a long night but like i don't know it's summertime nobody really has that much to do you know so that that makes sense to me but maybe that's just me i'm gonna check out that um you know so i so you know and then it, maybe maybe i'll see grease and footloose i'm gonna try to for sure but i i don't know how it's gonna work out because why, you know, why I do it double booking is number one. If there's multiple movies I want to see, I can knock them out one day. Because if I, because if I go over there, I have to get a ride. Then I have to figure out, you know, dinner. Because I have to get food to eat after I'm done, you know. Uh, because I'm not going to be home to eat. And so I got to figure out that. And it's money. And it's time. So double booking it is a lot easier. Because I can figure that out. I just get one meal, two tickets and see him on one night and then I'll have to do, do multiple days of that, right? And they're also showing Ready Player One, which is a weird choice. Uh, Ready Player One is not that great of a movie. It's pretty bad. I've seen that movie like three times in theaters. I think I went opening weekend because I love Steven Spielberg at the time. I went with my grandma, which is a weird movie to see with my grandma because uh, my grandma's tastes do not align with that movie and she probably didn't understand half of the references and, you know, there's a reference to The Shining, and they're just not into that stuff. So, kind of interesting, but, yeah. Um, kind of a weird one, you know? Kind of a weird movie to watch with your grandma, who's not into that type of stuff. But, um, and, you know, then I, then I went with my dad as, like, a group. We want to all go see movies, so I'm like, fine, we'll just go see this again. Then I went with my friend who wanted to go see it. So I ended up like seeing it three or four times with multiple different people. Um, not worth it, but I did. And I enjoyed it. I had fun with the movie. It's a fun movie, I guess. But like, it's not a good one. It's really poorly written. It's just nerd references for the sake of nerd references. There's not really any story behind it or characters or hey, making some point about like the thing it's referencing. And clearly Steven Spielberg did not know anything about half the shit he was referencing. So, I apologize for my language, uh, but just like, you know, Steve Spielberg actually is a person that makes me mad, honestly. The comments he's made about Netflix and how now how he's working with Apple TV and just kind of a, a jerky, stubborn person he is, causing problems for other people when he just needs to shut his freaking mouth. 